everyone. We're going to review setting up your Pixton account. If you didn't get a chance to do it last week, we can do it now. Remember, as I go through, pause me when you need to, then unpause me when you've caught up. Start by going to Pixton.com. Select Educators. Sign up for free. We're going to sign in with our APS Google accounts. Select your APS address. If you're already logged into your browser, it should take you right into Pixton. The first thing we're going to do is some independent work. There's a one minute long video about Pixton that you're going to watch. Pause me, watch the video, then press play when you're ready to keep going. Welcome back. Are you ready for the next step? Click on the box. The next step is to try to make a comic. You can do it. Let's try it. Remember, as I go through this, if you need to pause me, go ahead and pause me, catch up with what we're doing, and start me again. Now, the first thing we do, with, like we do with every project, is to give it a name. So name your comic. When you've named it, click the red circle with the check mark in it. Don't click done yet because that'll take us out of our comic and we are not done. One thing I want to point out is that there are little stars on certain backgrounds and those are the free backgrounds and free items that we can use within Pixton. There's also some that you'll see that have locks on them and the locks indicate that they're part of content packs that can be purchased. So when we do this today, we're looking for the stars. So be a star. Let's pick a background. I'm gonna go with this late night show background. Once you've picked a background, we're gonna add our character. Once again, the stars are our free characters and the locks are the ones that you have to purchase. You can search for what kind of character you're looking for or you can just scroll on through. I'm gonna select her, she looks like a teacher. She's kind of hunched over walking on the set. But let's dress her up and get her going. So I think I'm going to keep her in a dress. Maybe this green one. Now I want to focus her. That means whatever action she's doing in the scene. She could be walking across a panel to create action. She could be get, delivering a speech, talking to someone. Anything up close is going to zoom in. Anything farther out is going to zoom out. So maybe she's giving her opening monologue for the late night show. Well, she, got, she has to say something. So let's give her some words. Now, this is the wonderful thing I love about Pixton, especially for some of our students that have special needs and are learning English, is you don't have to type. You can record yourself talking and it'll type out what you say. Boom, so cool. So let's try that feature today. And if you decide to type, you have a 400 character limit. So let's have her say something. This is so cool. Once we've checked it to make sure it's correct and accurate, click the green circle with the check mark. That's going to give you her speech bubble. Now we can make her just say it. We can make her think it. We can make her shout it, or we can make her whisper it. And all of those are gonna change the way the speech bubble looks. So she's gonna shout this, because when we say that something is cool, it is cool. Now, let's fix her face. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but we want her to look excited. So this is so cool, she is excited. Once again, you're looking for the stars. Um, you can click this button to change the way that her eyes are looking. So if you want them to be looking at someone or if you want them to be in a certain way, you can pick that. Then we're going to give her an action. The important thing with your action is this is left facing, this is center facing, and this is right facing. So we're going to keep her center and she's going to go woohoo. And now we can click done. Next, we will set up our class. Watch the next video to find out how.